the Competitiveness and Innovation Framework Programme of the European Commission is meant to improve the competitiveness of European companies facing the challenges of globalisation. The programme is mainly aimed at small and medium-sized enterprises SMEs, which will receive support for innovation activities, better access to finance and business support services. It will run from 2007 to 2013. The program wants to encourage the usage of information and communications technologies ICT, renewable energies and to promote energy efficiency. History The CIP is based on Decision No. 1639-2006, EC of the European Parliament and of the Council of 24 October 2006 establishing a Competitiveness and Innovation Framework Programme, 2007-2013. CIP is complementary to the Seventh Framework Programme FP7 and is supposed to be "...mutually reinforcing, each designed to contribute to the success of the other." The programme COSME followed up CIP and runs 2014–2020. Topic operational programs The CIP consists of three programs, Entrepreneurship and Innovation Program EIP, Information Communication Technologies Policy Support Program ICTPSP, Intelligent Energy Europe IEE. All three programs are managed by the Executive Agency for Competitiveness and Innovation EACI, a e EU government body established by the European Commission to operate and oversee the various activities of CIP. Entrepreneurship and Innovation Programme The European Commission indicates that EIP focuses to facilitate access to finance for the start-up and growth of SMEs and encourage investment in innovation activities and to create an environment favourable to SME cooperation particularly in the field of cross-border cooperation, thereby promoting and assisting in all forms of innovation in enterprises. The EIP will specifically support innovation efforts in the ecological sector. It also has the broader ambition to promote an entrepreneurship and innovation culture and related economic and administrative reform. To help achieve these objectives the Commission has funded a number of actions. One of these is the formation of the Enterprise Europe Network, which started to form during January 2008. This new network has been established by integrating two former networks, the Euro Info Centres and the Innovation Relay Centres there are over 500 regional teams across Europe and beyond in 40 countries, making it the world's largest business and innovation support network. The objective of integrating the two networks is to offer businesses a one-stop shop of integrated services under one roof to better assist companies in addressing their business and innovation need. The type of services offered by many of the regional teams comprises, business partnering such as supplier, distribution and joint venture partner searches online tools for tracking European public sector tenders online facilities for assistance in finance and grant searches advise on IPR and legal matters advice on finance including grants, debt and risk assist businesses in accessing research programs and apply for R&D grants advice and assistance on accessing EU 
programs and funds access to information on EU policies, regulations and support programs technology and R&D partnering assistance for accessing 7th Framework Program FP7. Each of the Enterprise Europe Network Centres also offer a channel for passing feedback from businesses to the Commission on Policies. All the centers are also required to help engage businesses in EU policy making by promoting consultations opened by the EC. The network is essentially the front line for business and innovation support offered by Directorate General Enterprise and Industry, one of the various divisions or Directorate Generals comprising the European Commission. In addition to the new network, DG Enterprise and Industry have established other initiatives such as the European Investment Fund (EIF), which provisions for venture capital aimed at SMEs, in particular high-tech early-stage companies. Topic: See also Lisbon Strategy Managenergy Seventh Framework Program